Hello and welcome to MapLine. My name is Sean and I'm here to help you get started. When you first log into MapLine, this is the interface that you will see. If at any point you need additional resources or help, click on the help menu in the top right corner. This will let you connect with our customer success team or open the MapLine Academy training articles for you. To navigate the website, you'll want to use the MapLine logo in the top left corner. When you click on it, it'll open a drop-down that will let you navigate between libraries or create new maps or new data sets. Let's select New Map now. You'll see this opens a field where I can enter a new name for my map. Let's call this map Hello World and then click OK. This will open my map to a world canvas where I can zoom in and out either by using the scroll wheel on my mouse or by clicking the plus and minus icons in the top corner. If I would like to search for a specific address, I can do so from the search bar. And if I would like to add additional elements to my map, I can do so from the Add menu. Uploading a spreadsheet from here is easy. I'll simply want to select Pins and From Spreadsheet to be able to upload my data. In the top field, I want to give my data set a name. Let's name this data set Customer Locations. In the bottom field, I can paste in my spreadsheet data. Let's open a spreadsheet now and copy in the data. First, I want to select the data that I want to upload to MapLine. Second, I want to copy that data, either by right-clicking and selecting Copy or using the shortcut Control-C on my keyboard. Now, I want to navigate back to MapLine to paste in my data. I can do this either by right-clicking and selecting the Paste option or by using the shortcut Control-V on my keyboard. Now it's as simple as clicking next and verifying that the address columns have been correctly identified. Address columns are only columns that include location data. Don't worry if you don't see all of your columns listed here. Again, we only want those with location data. If things look right, click OK. Now your locations have been added to your map. If you want to better see your data, feel free to zoom in. You can click on any individual pin to be able to see a report of the data included with that location. Now we should be ready to use MapLine. There are plenty of other tools and features available, so go explore, or again, access the training from the help menu. If you do have any problems, let our customer success team help you out, and otherwise, have a great time mapping.